What do you think you believe about schooling? I think I believe that the metaphor schooling clearly tells you what it's expected to deliver. We only use the the expression one other way commonly, and that's for the school of fish. And they are wonderful to watch when one fin moves, all of them move, thousands of fins move, and they're instantly receptive to what the group wishes. I don't know who gives the original signal, but but education's diametrically opposite to that. I think it starts with the assumption that we get from a fingerprint or from DNA that no two people are alike and that the ultimate uh, realization of yourself is to find that uniqueness where your apparent physical resemblance to everybody else sort of dissolves as an illusion and you stand absolutely alone or you can select when you want to be part of the larger group. Uh, it seems clear to me that the business of schooling has done what Orwell clearly saw you do, or what uh, Walter Lippmann said you do back in the 1920s. You steal the key language of the person you are, the group you want to overthrow, and you redefine it, and people then become confused. It's Newspeak in 1984. So the, the schooling transformation occurs when they see that the language of education is highly regarded, highly respected, and even in people who don't participate, there's an urge in that direction. So you simply take the concepts and you claim that that's why people are being ritualized. Uh, yeah, so there. So you describe that individual beings, when in groups, kind of subvert their own individual thinking power. And the, the, the law of identity, none of us can change who we are, we have to be ourselves, and that is constant throughout life. So it's about figuring out how to remain individually self-reliant and self-sufficient as going through these systems that are trying to change us and to make us less self-reliant and more. Very much so. And I think the awareness of these contrary dynamics is what gives rise to the theories of dialectic. I mean, Aristotle all the way through history the variety of them, but they participate in the same way as essentially asking you for your own self-defense, not to assume that what anyone says, especially as they climb the authority ladder, is the truth. Often the misinformation comes from innocent self-delusion, but just as often as you move up the power pyramid, it comes from a malign intent toward your own individuality. So it's like a betrayal of truth that occurs, or you know, a betrayal of, of, of you know, belief in some authority structure that you want to believe in is true, and then little by little you realize that it's not necessarily how it might have been presented to you? Right, even in your own individual inner life and consciousness.